In this video, I'll explain how to create a Venn diagram with a certain level of opacity in the R programming language. Let's do that. In this video, I'm going to show you two examples and the first example is based on the Venn diagram package. So if you have not installed the Venn diagram package yet, you have to install it as you can see in line two of the code. I have already installed the package, so I'm just going to load it as you can see in line three. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the Venn diagram package, such as draw pairwise Venn. However, before we apply this function, we first need to create a new page using the grid.newPage function, as you can see in line five. And then you can see at the bottom right that an empty plot window is created. And then in the next step, in lines six to nine of the code, we can draw our Venn diagram using the draw pairwise Venn function of the Venn diagram package. And in this function, we need to specify the values that we want to use for the Venn diagram. And we also need to specify the filling colors. So if you run line six to nine of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new Venn diagram is created. And as you can see, this Venn diagram is transparent. So in this first example, I have shown you how to use the Venn diagram package to create a Venn diagram with opacity. However, it's also possible to use other packages. And in the second example, I want to show you how to use the Venn Euler package to create a Venn diagram with opacity. And first we need to install and load the package as you can see in lines 11 and 12 of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it in line 12. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the Venn Euler function as you can see in line 14. And in this function, we again need to specify the areas that we want to draw in our Venn diagram. And then we also need to wrap the plot function around this function. So if you run lines 14 to 16 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that another Venn diagram is created. And this time it's in the style of this alternative package. So in this tutorial, I have shown in two examples how to draw a Venn diagram with opacity using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. See you in the next video.